These are the wealth transfers in David's life. David from the Philistines, when David got the wealth from Goliath, there were two agreements in chapter number 17 of the book of 1 Samuel. The first agreement was, if you kill me, and if, or if I kill you, respectively, we become your slaves or you become our slaves. That was the first contract. The second contract was when the king said, whoever kills this giant, I will give him three things. I will give him wealth, lots of money. I will give him my daughter, which is an elevation in relationships. And number three, I will cancel their taxes and restore their property. That's verse number 25 of 1 Samuel chapter number 17. So David does kill Goliath. He kills him. But you never see the Philistines becoming the slaves, the slaves of the Israelites. The reason for it is that David did not want to enslave the Philistines on the same level the Philistines had enslaved them. David didn't need a bunch of guys carrying sticks, cooking food, washing clothing, uh, carrying water. He didn't want slavery on that level. What David wanted, he wanted to enslave Philistine technology because he recognized that if we are going to go on the next level and compete on that level, we have to at least come to the benchmark of Goliath's sword, which you see in chapter number 21 of 1 Samuel, where the king, where David says to the priest, I need a sword. He said, you've got the sword of Goliath. There is none like it, not in terms of its size or its strength. In other words, in terms of its technological advancement. David needed to tap into their professional intellectual property so that he could advance a people that were behind for 300 years. Our responsibility, you can't just use so much money. What we need is to tap into the real wealth. Someone say release. release. Tap somebody say release. release. 